Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Shah Weekly. In this video, I'm going to answer one of the most commonly asked questions, which is, should I just learn Swift UI instead of UIKit, since Swift UI is the future? This is a very interesting question. And before answering the question, let me take you back to 2016. In 2016, I was working as a bootcamp instructor. I'm still working as a bootcamp instructor. But during that time, 2016, I was teaching iOS development. And even in 2016, we always started with learning Objective-C, so four weeks of Objective-C and UI Kit. Now you might be wondering, well, it's 2016, it's been two years that Swift has been announced and released, why even bother with Objective-C? And the reason that we cover Objective-C is that bigger companies, or even the mid-sized companies, it, it usually takes them a little bit more time to uh, adopt new features, new languages. So even Swift was released in 2014, they're probably going to wait and wait and wait a while while they can jump onto the Swift bandwagon. So if you graduate in 2016 or even 2017 and 18, uh, you're going to find more and more jobs that are for, uh, you know, Objective-C or that actually requires a little bit of knowledge of Objective-C at least because chances of you landing a job that is a greenfield project, meaning a brand new project, are very, very low. Probably you'll be working for a company, unless you're working as a startup, that's a different story, but you'll be working for a company that has been coding for a number of years, it was a legacy system, two years old, five years old, whatever years old, and guess what, they will be using Objective-C. Now, obviously, the dynamics kind of change when you you know, we're now in 2020, so now you will see more and more jobs for, uh, you know, Swift language. But if you take the year 2016, it's just too early. Even it was two years uh, released for Swift language, it was still early phases. So fast forward 2020, we are still in kind of like a same scenario, right? I mean, we have Swift UI and we have UI Kit. UI Kit has been around for ages. So a lot of companies are still using UI Kit. And Swift UI is just so young and it's so it's not possible for many companies to just jump onto that because they don't really know what things work, what things don't work, what are those blind edges, what are those dark corners of Swift UI. So it's always going to be a very, very interesting decision when a company says that, okay, we're just going to do all Surf UI. Now, eventually, yes, Surf UI is going to, you know, take over everything. Uh, and that just happens, I mean, through the, uh, you know, passage of time. But right now, if you ask me in 2020, that should you learn UI kit, the answer is yes. And the reason the answer is yes, is that Surf UI is still young. You still need to know UI kit because most of the projects, legacy code base, legacy means a week ago, right? I mean, that's also legacy. So all the code that has been written is using UI kit. So if you don't have any knowledge of UI kit, you will have a difficulty understanding what is going on. Now, hopefully we'll see in the future. I mean, if you are watching this video in 2025 or something, then you'll see start the Swift UI starting to take over because it's maturing more and more with every single release, every single year. That's just the passage that's the, of time, that's just a phase of time. I mean, that's just what happens when you give a technology a little bit more time to mature. So, to answer the question again, should you learn UI Kit? The answer is yes. Should you learn Surf UI? The answer is yes. I think you should be preparing for Surf UI also, but you should not skip UI Kit in 2020, you should definitely learn a UI kit and most of the jobs uh, right now are UI kit and not Surf UI. So hopefully uh, this has answered the question that uh, uh, most of the people are emailing me and uh, you know commenting and tweeting about it. So thank you so much and hope you have enjoyed this video.